In this video, we're going to be talking about the difference between atomic weight and atomic mass. So, before even going into the video, you must have an understanding on what the periodic table is, how an isotope works, and also, and also um, the difference between weight and mass. So, the difference between weight and mass is that weight, basically, it's um, the amount of gravity that's being pulled towards you from a source. For example, let's take Earth's gravity. So if you were to stand on a scale, it would give you a number, and that number is the amount of force Earth is pulling on. Matter times the amount of force is the is your weight or the amount that Earth is pulling on. But if we were to take matter or mass, basically mass is made up of the amount of matter you have. So let's move to atomic weight and atomic mass. So first let's talk, let's start with the easy one, atomic mass. So atomic mass is made up, they basically to determine the atomic mass, it determines on how many protons and neutrons there are. So since the number of protons won't change on, based on the element, but the number of neutrons can based on its isotopes. So for example, um, if you take the most common carbon with the mass of 12, it has 12 protons with 12 neutrons. But if you were to take carbon with the mass of 14, then it would have 12, it would have six protons, but, it would have eight neutrons. And if, when it has eight neutrons, that, that basically means that um, the weight has increased. So, and since there's more matter or more neutrons that would add up to its mass, hence making the mass heavier. So now that we understood how atomic mass works, we'll work on to atomic weight. So to determine atomic weight, it's way more complicated, but and also there's a lot of math required, but once you understand it, it will be pretty easy to solve it into a calculator and figure it out. So let's look at, again, carbon. So if you look over here at the whiteboard, if you were to look over here at the whiteboard, you could see these numbers. So what do these numbers even mean? So let, let's look at this one. So this is the most common isotope for carbon. It's C with the mass of 12. The six represents the atomic number with the mass of 12, but the atomic number six. So the atomic number in an element doesn't change, and that's basically how the um, periodic table is organized. So if the atomic number for carbon was seven, then it wouldn't be carbon, it would be nitrogen. And that would be incorrect, and that wouldn't be an isotope. So the atomic number has to always be the same based on its isotopes. So here it has the mass number of 12. So we have to multiply in percentage, how often is it like reoccurring in nature? And also we have to multiply it by its mass. And then we have to add it on to another isotope. So this is carbon with the mass of 13, okay? So carbon with the mass of 13 or seven neutrons, basically you only find 1.1% of that in nature and you have to multiply that by the mass number. And for carbon with the mass of 14, you only, you only find it 0.01% of the times and you have to multiply that by 14. Basically you get the answer 12.0112 or rounded to 12.011. And if you look over here, we have 12.011, hence getting the atomic weight. Also, basically, the ato atomic mass is the sum of the protons and neutrons based on the isotope given, and atomic weight is basically the reoccurrence of the isotope times the mass that would give you the weight. So in this case, carbon has three isotopes, so we would add it three different times, get three different answers, and add them together to get our weight. Can atomic mass and weight ever be the same? Yes, it's true. However, only when there's one isotope. If there are multiple isotopes, then this will vary. So for example, we said that carbon has the mass of 12. Then if we look over here to this isotope, yes, it has the mass of 12. But if you look at this, no, it's 13. Here, no, it's 14. So it varies based on how many, elect how many um, isotopes there are. So let's take another example instead of carbon. Let's take hydrogen. We have three different isotopes for uh, hydrogen. So since hydrogen had, like regularly, if we find it in nature, hydrogen most likely always has one, um, the weight of, like the mass of one. So atomic mass would be one. But sometimes its atomic mass can be two or sometimes it could be three. But if we were to narrow it down and do the process that we just did over here, we would get this decimal over here, which would represent its atomic weight. So that is the difference between atomic weight and atomic mass. 
atomic mass is the sum of protons and neutrons based on the isotope and the atomic weight is the how much how often a certain isotope is reoccurring in nature and if you multiply that by its mass you will be able to get its weight which is found on the periodic table